Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are recreating Magnates Media's animation using a light motion. Before we start, have a look at the preview. Okay friends, let's do this. Friends, I have created this image with Bing's AI Image Creator. Later I separated this image in two parts as you are seeing now. After that, I added a shape like this to sky image. Here, I already added my project files to the timeline. First we will increase all these layers duration to 3.15 frames. Now select sky layer, and go to move and transform. Here, select Z axis. Now change Z axis position as I shown in the video. Now we will change position of this layer also. Now I am going to add my character to the timeline. Let's adjust this layer size and position, also timeline duration. Now we will add a camera to the timeline. Now active the camera. Go to move and transform. Here, adjust camera Z axis position is shown. Now add a position keyframe here. Also add rotation keyframe. Now move to 1.15 frames forward, and add both position and rotation keyframes. Now at the first keyframe, adjust position is shown. Also adjust rotation here. Now smooth keyframe curves is shown. Now move to the frame number, 2.15. Here, adjust Z axis position, also adjust X and Y axis positions. Now smooth keyframe curves is shown. Now at here, change X and Y axis, positions as I shown in the video. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now we have this animation guys. Export this animation and save it. Now I am going to creating a new project for second animation. If you want to know, how I created these images. Simply download the XML file, that I provided in description. Let's extend all these layers timeline durations. Now add this image. Let's adjust, size and position. Let me extend this layer duration. Now desaturate this image, and also decrease brightness little bit, also adjust contrast value little bit. Now we have to separate his both hands from body. Let me do that first. Add vector drawing tool, and draw a shape around his arm. Now draw one more for other hand. Now extend these layers durations. Duplicate both shape layers. Now hide these layers for a moment. Now duplicate this layer three times. Now hide these layers for a moment. Now select these two layers, and tap on masking icon. Now, unhide it. Now select these two layers, and tap on masking icon. Now, unhide these layers. Now select these two layers, and group them. Now unhide this layer. Now select these two layers, and tap on exclusion icon. 
Let's rename these layers. Now change all these layers, pivot points positions as I shown in the video. Add a rotation keyframe here. Also add one for this layer too. Now move to one second forward and add another one. Also add one for this layer too. Now at this keyframe, rotate hand as I shown in the video. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now do same for other hand too. Now we have this. Now move here. Adjust rotation little bit here, for both hand layers. Now we have this. Now I am drawing a shape to cover here. Now select these 5 layers, and group them. Rename this layer. Now select these 2 layers and group them. Let's rename it. Now, add a position keyframe to this layer. Move one second forward and add another one. At this point, add position keyframes to this layer also. Now here, change position as I shown in the video. Now smooth keyframe curves. Now change position of this layer also. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's keep this keyframe here. Now add in rectangle shape. Fit this shape into canvas size. Now change color to black. Now at here, add opacity keyframe. Move 1.05 second forward, and decrease opacity to 0%. Now smooth the keyframe curves. Trim it here. Now add, money flying footage. Apply chroma key effect to this layer. Now remove background color of this layer. Adjust threshold value. Drag it here. Now adjust, size and position. Let's trim here. Now duplicate this layer. Drag it here. Now adjust this layer position and size. Apply blur effect to this layer. Adjust blur strength. Now at here, add circle shape. Now adjust, size and position. Also extend layer duration. Now at here, add position keyframe. Move here, and add another one. Now at here, change position is shown. Make a copy of this layer. Hide it for a moment. Now select these two layers, and tap on exclusion icon. Now unhide this layer. Duplicate it. Hide it for a moment. Select first layer, and go to color, select no fill here. Now enable stroke to this layer. Adjust stroke size. Now apply bevel effect to this layer. Play with these values here.
Now select these layers and group them. Now duplicate this layer. Now drag this layer here. Trim it here. Now increase this layer size as shown. Now duplicate this shape again. Drag it here. Now select these two layers and tap on masking icon. Now we have this. Now drag this layer here. Unhide it. Now apply hue shift effect to this layer. Add a keyframe here. Now here, adjust hue shift value as shown. Now decrease opacity little bit. Now we have this. Export this animation and save it. Now import two exported clips to the new project. Start this layer from here. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this, also comment below, who's editing you want to recreate.